Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to create an object deduction module in five lines. So we are going to use a deducto module. So this is a object deduction uh, module. We can able to use it for a custom object deduction or we can able to use for uh, common objects. So let's see about what is deducto. So about deducto. So Deducto is a model uh, built on uh, faster RCNN, faster RCNN, ResNet 50, ResNet 50. So this is the backend model of uh, Deducto. Uh, it uses uh, faster RCNN and it also uses a uh, PyTorch module. So you have to install uh, Torch in order to use this module. And this particular module is trained on uh, MS Coco 2017 data set. MS Coco 2017 data set. And it has around uh, 80 classes. Has 80 different classes. Like animals, vehicles, person. Like that uh, it has like 80 different uh, objects it can able to recognize different classes and we can also use this object deduction module for our uh, custom model we can able to train our uh, data set on top of this that is the advantage of using deducto and because of this PyTorch module every module is easy to customize so you don't have to worry about uh, customization and uh, we can able to do visualization and uh, training the model in a single line I will show you how to do that before that we have to install PyTorch. Let's go to the Google. I will say Torch. Okay, just showing something else. So Torch install. Go to the PyTorch website. Now this is the home page of uh, PyTorch. If you want to install the module, you have to specify what are the specifications you have. So I'm going to specify a stable 1.9 and I'm using Windows. You can either use Conda or pip. I'm going to use pip. So the Python, so the language can be Python, C++ or Java. And we have CUDA 10.2 or CUDA 11. We also have uh, CPU. ROC means that is for uh, AMD graphic cards, but I have uh, Nvidia graphic card. So I'm going to select this particular specification and you just copy this. Copy the whole syntax and paste it here. Have an exclamation mark and paste it. So if you run it means it will automatically install all the necessary modules. And after that, again an exclamation mark, pip3, install, detecto. So I have installed both of these things, so I don't have to install it again. I will just comment it. I will call it as install modules. Install modules. Just uncomment these lines and uh, run it. It will uh, install the modules. You don't have to do any other thing. Run this and after that uh, let's import the module. Maybe I already told how uh, we are going to do object detection in five lines. So I'm going to do it uh, right away. Object detection. Now let's import the detecto module from detecto. Import core utils visualize. Visualize. So these are the three main modules we are going to use. Utils is to read the input and uh, pass it to the model. And core contains all the model attributes and using visualize we can able to visualize the prediction and corresponding with the image. So this is one line for importing the module. Now let's load the image. Image equals utils dot read image. Read image the image name that is apple dot 
jpg this is the image i'm going to read now let's load the model so model equals core dot model so this model is uh, a pre-trained model uh, that is trained on ms coco 2017 data set and this is the faster rcnn uh, resnet 50 so this is kind of a lightweight model because uh, we have like 50 layers but uh, maybe we can able to change the models if we want but we have to see the documentation for it you can also see about our uh, detecto in the documentation page and they have some code snippets now after loading the module we have to do the prediction for this image so when you predict you will be having the label blocks and uh, scores equals model dot predict top so if you didn't use top means it will show all the predictions but uh, it won't be uh, necessary because we just need to have the higher confidence score let's pass the image and after that we are going to visualize the prediction so visualize dot show labeled image pass the image we have boxes and we have labels now let's run this so it will take some time because uh, we have to load the model and uh, we have to do the prediction first thing uh, it will import the modules so that it itself will take some time okay this is capital M run this so we have done the prediction we didn't do any kind of training but uh, it has predicted apple so this is the apple image and uh, it also predicted dining table i think uh, this is due to this uh, black mark and uh, usually apple will be placed on some table i think uh, because of that uh, it's just showing this maybe if we define some threshold for the score means we can able to eliminate these things if you remove this uh, top means still it's doing the prediction maybe uh, because of the scores let's display this uh, label boxes and uh, scores line by line print labels print boxes and lastly print scores and this so we have two labels that is apple and dining table and uh, we have the boxes coordinates that is here and this is for another box coordinate for dining table and here we have the confidence score so here for apple uh, the score is uh, much higher but uh, for dining table it is like 0 0.09 that is so much lower score you can able to set some uh, metrics to have a threshold so if it's if the confidence score is greater than 80 only uh, we can able to uh, show the box like that we can able to set it and uh, visualize that's how we can able to do the object detection uh, properly but for the basic i think uh, this is much better i just showed you an example image and uh, showed you how it works so this is reading the image so this is import model read image and this is load the model load the model and here make the prediction and lastly visualize the image visualize the image so as i already said we have done the object detection in five lines usually you have to do uh, tons of things when you are doing some object detection but here we didn't do that much we just used a pre-trained module so that is for uh, so that's it for uh, detecto module i hope this video is very helpful to you i will show you a separate uh, project for uh, custom object detection with the module i will show it in the next video apart from that if you like this video hit the like button 
and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful see you guys in the next video